Tonight, we are just about 48 hours from the first votes being cast in campaign 2016. The Iowa caucuses take place Monday night. The latest forecast calls for snow that night, but already there is a blizzard of last-minute campaign speeches underway. Major Garrett is in Clinton, Iowa, covering the Republicans. Vision is very important. You're running for president. You need vision. Donald Trump pulling away from Ted Cruz in recent polls here urged his gung-ho crowd to show up on caucus night or risk defeat. We have to get out there and caucus and do all of the things that we have to do or we've all wasted our time. In an interview with Face the Nation, Trump said he's taken Cruz down by raising birther questions. There are many lawyers coming out, top constitutional lawyers, that Ted Cruz cannot run for president. He can't be president because of the fact he was born in Canada. I think that has a huge effect. Cruz contends no legal uncertainties hang over his eligibility for the presidency and said his superior Iowa organization will surprise Trump. If we stand together, we will win the Iowa caucuses, we will win the nomination, and we will win the general election in November 2016 and turn this country around. Iowa Republican Governor Terry Branstead told us GOP turnout Monday could set a record. He gave Trump a lot of credit. I think Donald Trump has added a new dimension. The turnout he's gotten in places where Republicans generally don't do well. In Sioux City, Marco Rubio, who has been drawing large crowds in the home stretch, faulted Cruz's recent attacks on his immigration record. You know, Ted Cruz, who's been my friend and is, he's decided to run a very, you know, deceitful campaign at the end on some things he's saying. People see through that. Ten Republicans held 40 events across Iowa today. One of them who wasn't here, John Kasich, received the endorsement of the New York Times. Jim, that won't do him any good here, but it could prove crucial to the Kasich campaign of appealing to moderate Republicans and independents in the next contest, New Hampshire. Major, thank you very much.